Let us start lecture 26 and the course is corrosion failures and analysis. We have been discussing crevice corrosion and today we will finish uh, mechanism of crevice corrosion as well as would like to see uh, some of the protection routes. In fact, uh, we will also see some of the uh, case studies. In fact, we have seen some of the case studies. For example, uh, the crevice corrosion uh, on the door, uh, crevice corrosion in case of uh, uh, keyhole of a lock, crevice corrosion at the root of uh, ribbed rebar and in addition we will see some of the industrial problems. Of course, I uh, will take up from some of the sources and of course, acknowledge those sources. Now, uh, the lecture is on corrosion failure analysis and lecture 26 topic of course, crevice corrosion. In fact, uh, in the last lecture, at the end of the lecture, we started talking about mechanism, so, but now we will try to complete that mechanism part. Now, we have seen that first uh, we have reaction cathodic and reactions everywhere. So, that means, if we start with a crevice like this. So, this is the part where crevice. Now, everywhere you have these two reactions, you just go back to the last lecture and then check that particular picture. And because of the cathodic and anodic reactions everywhere, we have uniform corrosion in the beginning. So, it leads to uniform corrosion and that to remember beginning of the process. Okay. So, remember uh, this does not continue uh, for long because you have formed a crevice and that crevice part is large enough to access to allow solution to get into the crevice and it will be small enough which disallow which will disallow uh, the convection current into the system. So, that the crevice would not receive oxygen through convection. There could be possibility of diffusion of oxygen because oxygen in the bulk let us say this is bulk in the bulk would always be larger than the oxygen in the crevice because of the bulk part is exposed to the environment and that is what oxygen can migrate and diffuse in soluble oxygen. Now, here oxygen can access by diffusion, but that particular process would be very low because it is a room temperature process. So, after some time second stage would take over where oxygen depletion happen in the crevice and oxygen concentration in the bulk remain almost same. So, what it does? Now, we have aeration cell formation. Since oxygen concentration away from the crevice, let us say this areas, these areas are having much higher concentration of oxygen. So, the bulk surfaces would act as cathode, 
since this reaction will continue. Now, what happens to Cravis? Cravis now since we have oxygen content would be very low in the Cravis and that oxygen content if you start from the Cravis, Cravis entry. So, let us say this is the Cravis entry part and if you try to plot oxygen content if oxygen percentage as a distance from let us say this point onwards the extreme part would be having the lowest oxygen content and the oxygen schematic plot could be like this oxygen concentration from the start to the end. So, let us say this is the start point of the Cravis part. So, oxygen content. So, this part will act as or in this case this part will act as anode fine we will have reaction or this is anodic reaction which is nothing but corrosion. So, now differential aerated cell. So, that means the second level. So, this is the part which is nothing but Now, we ended up to this. Now, after that we said that the Cravis mode of corrosion the distinction happens after this. Now, what happens if we try to see again this Cravis part? You have a dissolution here. Right? Now, Interestingly, in this portion we have OH ion as well as Fe plus plus ion as well as chlorine ion. Now, Fe plus plus ion would react with OH minus 2, it will form Fe OH hole 2 and even if, if it has a little bit of oxygen presence, so then it can also turn into whole 3 which is nothing but hydrated you can write it as Fe 2 O 3 H 2 O you can write that way. Okay. So, now uh, so this is a kind of uh, uh, you can say that uh, let us not write this because it is actually a ferric hydroxide which is nothing but the red rust. So, it actually converts to Fe 2 O 3 which is nothing but the uh, ferric oxide. Now, so, this form, so let me just balance this, uh, so you can write uh, I think hydrogen is now 6, 2, 2, okay, fine. So, this is the balance. Now, this also can happen. So, now everybody these are actually insoluble phase. This is also insoluble. Okay. Now, so this phases would have their own solubility product. So, now it is basically K S P of F E O H hole 2 and K S P of F E O H hole 3. Okay. Now, that solubility product would decide iron plus plus or Fe plus 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 3 content in the crevice. Okay. Now, once the solubility product concentration, so that means if I try to look at this part, this part so is basically Fe OH whole 2 equal to Fe plus 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 OH minus 2, 2. So, now we can write this way. So, now Ksp Fe OH whole 2 would be equal to activity of Fe plus plus activity of OH minus square divided by activity 
of A P O H O 2. Okay. So, this is the formula we can say. So, now let us say this one settles down. So, we can take it as a 1 and if it is a pure, so then it we can take it as 1 since it is a solid. So, this is also solid remember. So, now uh, activity so then K S P we can write it as Okay. So, this will be the uh, uh, K S P part which is a product of activity of iron ion concentration and activity of OH minus concentration OH, uh, active OH minus ion. Now, if this K S P exceeds, so now if this is K S P, K S P value could be order of uh, around close to around 16 to 10 to the power 18. So, this is the level of K S P value. So, that means, the concentration of iron ion in the solution would be very, very low. Now, once this particular value exceeds, because the K then only iron ion will, once it exceeds, because the temperature is constant. So, this, this equilibrium will have a situation will reach. Now, once this concentration is reached, so this F E OH will settle down, will form again, because it has to maintain its equilibrium. So, once this act activity of Fe plus plus or concentration of Fe plus plus exceeds the value required for equilibrium to maintain that K S V value. So, then the rest of the iron ion will again dissolve, will again combine with OH minus ion okay, and then settles down. But now, let us say we have do not have this reaction do not have this reaction. So, this reaction is very minimal there fine. So, that means, if e plus plus ion that is forming that is forming. So, that excess amount once this K S P value exceeds will try to combine with OH minus ion and settles down but now it does not have much of OH minus presence there okay, because this reaction is not taking place in this Cravis portion. Outer side, outer side of course, this reaction is taking place, this reaction taking, is taking place. So, that means we have a situation that F E plus plus ion concentration increases inside the crevice, inside the crevice. Why? Because as this Fe plus plus ion is increasing, it will try to react with OH minus ion and try to form K Fe OH hole 2, which will settle down. But now, if we do not have OH minus ion, so then the amount of Fe plus plus which is forming be just to supply electron for this reaction which is happening outside the crevice which are cath which is cathode. So, that ion concentration will keep on increasing inside the inside the crevice. So, now at one place this place is basically having higher and higher negative positive charges. So, this crevice now higher positive charges. So, now this positive charge needs to be neutralized. So, that means, it needs neutralization. So, now for that we have OH minus ion at the same time chlorine minus ion. Now, one possibility is OH minus ion here OH minus ion is forming which can go here chlorine minus ion which can also go here. Now, if chlorine ion goes there, okay, so now that will try to since chlorine ion has a higher negativity and it is a small smaller ion, so that will have a higher speed. So, that can go into the into that particular crevice part. So, the chlorine ion will react with so this particular salt will form. Now, this salt since there is water. So, this salt will hydrolyze. So, the chlorine ion 
diffusion inside the crevice just to neutralize the extra positive charge that is developing because of the excess F e plus plus ion once this K s p value of F e O h hole 2 is exiting. So, that means we do not have much of uh, OH minus ion presence there. So, that is what we have to have excess chlorine ion coming there and trying to neutralize that particular situation where excess positive charge is developing. So, now that chlorine ion would now react with H 2 O and try to hydrolyze and that hydrolyze hydrolysis would lead to this particular situation. Okay. So, now this is again this will again settle down and now you have H plus ion generation. Now, okay, so this is for this is stage 1, stage 2 and this is stage 3. So, now stage 3 is nothing but hydrolysis of salt, stage 2 is chloride salt formation and stage 1 is chlorine ion migration to neutralize F e plus plus excess F e plus plus. So, now again there is now interesting stuff. So, this particular phase which is insoluble settles down in the crevice. At the same time now in the crevice initially we started with a neutral uh, NaCl solution. Neutral NaCl. Now in the crevice part it generates H plus this acid which is a strong acid and the outer part bulk part it remains neutral. Okay. So, that means in the crevice part now H plus ion which is actually making this crevice part which is a small section a small fluid or liquid highly acidic. Now, this is basically if we try to look at this particular part. So, this is galvanization corrosion and then second part galvanic corrosion and then second part which is basically you can say that uh, this is uh, okay. So, let me go to the first. So, this is the first part which is uniform corrosion then galvanic corrosion third stage we can write it as hydro Light hydrolysis of FeCl2 leading to highly acidic condition. So, this is third stage, th third part. So, this is second part. Okay and this is of course, the first part. Okay. So, now once we have this situation that H plus acidic condition is generating and this crevice part can go to even the pH. So, initially it was pH 7, this is maintaining pH 7 the bulk part, but the crevice part it might become highly acidic even pH can go up to 2 to 3. So, that means it becomes highly acidic. Okay. So, let us see what happens to that. Now, let us say this particular metal is passivating, passivating metal. In the beginning we have a passive layer. Let us say the passive layer is basically made of F e O H hole 3 or F e O H hole 2. Now, if I try to see schematic of iron Kobe diagram E and pH. 
So, the iron four bay diagram looks like this. So, here we have a phi, here if a a phi plus 2, a phi plus 3, here a phi o h whole 3, this is a phi o h whole 2, this is h a phi o 2 minus. So, that time this part is again corrosion, since ion is forming this part is corrosion, this part is corrosion. Now, this part is immune, this part is passive, even this part is passive. Okay. So, that means, we have this phases formation on which happens more than around close to uh, uh, 6 to 7 pH. So, let us look at Bobe diagram. So, let us look at this particular diagram. So, now this is Fe 2 or 3. So, just a minute. Uh, yes, we can look at this part. Now, if you see this diagram, so this is the same as the uh, schematic diagram what I have shown to you. Now, in this case, uh, uh, if you see the pH level around close to 7, uh, so if you take it to around this level, so this particular uh, cursor if you see, so around this level if you see, so once you go there, you will have you will have passive layer. Okay? So, this is passivity, this is passivity. Now, coming to our discussion, so now if the pH drops down, so if pH drops down, so then let us say if the situation is at at this place or at this place, pH drops down, that means the pH goes down. So, initially it is let us say close to 8. Now, once it goes to there, so there the pH become this particular pH becomes 2 to 3 and this has stepped into this has stepped into a corrosion zone which is Fe plus plus. So, that means because of this higher higher acidic nature or lower pH the situation goes into so this particular situation goes into so that means it is actually leading to further corrosion further corrosion so that means in the third stage is itself it actually breaks down the passivating surface and once it breaks down then you have more and more a phi plus plus formation because it has broken from the passive layer to the corrosion zone because the pH and the if the potential remains same. So, that means the pH if let us say this is pH 2 to 3. So, it has gone into corrosion zone and it actually leads to further A phi plus plus ion formation. And once A phi plus plus form formation happens, then it has to neutralize again. So, then again chlorine ion will come back to the original will reach to the crevice, it will react with Fe plus plus and react form Fe Cl 2 and then after formation of Fe Cl 2, it will further hydrolyze and then form H plus and Cl minus. So, like that way that cycle that iron ion formation, more electropositivity, more chlorine ion coming in to neutralize formation of iron chloride and then hydrolysis of iron chloride formation of HCl and FeOH hole 2. So, like that way system will keep on happening and so that time we have the fourth stage, fourth stage which is basically autocatalytic, autocatalytic stage which is nothing but 
the cycle. So, this cycle a phi ion plus plus formation chlorine ion comes in in the crevice a phi C L 2 hydrolysis and then acidic environment breakdown of then you have breakdown of passivity now and then again Fe plus plus formation. Now, question is once this breakdown of passivity happens to so that stage this stage goes out. So, you do not have this stage anymore. So, it becomes this stage formation. So, that means this one continues in a cyclic manner and then it reaches to autocatalytic stage. The rapid corrosion of crevice part happens. So, that constitutes the all the stages of crevice corrosion the mechanism part. So, now if you have this crevice, so here initially the crevice started and then immediately the localized one it will keep on dissolving and let us say the thickness was this, this was the thickness of the wall of that particular iron uh, structure. So, finally, it will reach to the other end and then it is a complete failure. Complete failure. So, this is the four stages of previous corrosion. So, now uh, we will stop here uh, before stopping. So, let me just uh, mention all those four stages. First stage is uniform corrosion, bulk and crevice. So, then we have galvanic localized corrosion inside crevice. Third stage is hydrolysis increase in acidity and breakdown of passivity. And fourth stage is propagation of crevice corrosion and autocatalytic growth. So, these are the portrait and finally, it lead to finally failure complete leakage, leakage or failure. Okay. So, let us stop here, we will uh, discuss uh, uh, some of the protection measures as well as uh, some of the uh, case studies, industrial case studies of course, taken from some of the book sources and then uh, we will complete our discussion on previous corrosion. Let us stop here. Thank you.